Hey, how's it going guys? It's CK here and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 6 for this, the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. They have finally added in a brand new Koenigsegg. Big thank you to Turn 10. I have been dying for a brand new Koenigsegg in a Forza game. And you can't get any better than this, can you? Well, apart from the new Vigera. This is the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. It is Bat shit crazy, that's the only way you can sum up this thing. I've driven it in Drive Club before and it literally made me poop my pants. It is insanely fast, insanely crazy through the corners. So what we're going to be doing today is taking it down a top speed run down Le Mans and also going for a handling test around either Mazda Laguna Seca or Circuit of the Americas. But first... As you all like to see on my channel, we're going to go around the car in Forza Vista mode. So, let's see if we can go underneath the hood. Which is kind of funny because there's nothing really in here. I'm pretty sure this is where you store, like, the actual roof. Because, just like the CCX and the Ajera, I'm pretty sure this thing uh, has a detachable roof. Which is pretty bonkers, considering the speed which this thing can actually go. I think the top speed is about 265 miles an hour. Maybe a wee bit faster, but god damn. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Let's see the lights. Oh, that looks evil. That looks very evil indeed. You get the big carbon fibre wheels. That is actually proper carbon fibre wheels there, guys. Really, really love that style. But one of my highlights of this car is the doors. Just like any Koenigsegg, the signature style of them doors. Let's climb inside. The very, very orange interior. I leg it. I leg it a lot. <laughs> The one, colon one, as I like to call it. Me and Andy actually started that, so yeah. Speaking of starting, let's hear how she sounds. God, you can hear the turbocharger off of that 5 litre V8 engine, can't you? God damn, but... Anyway, apart from that, the interior is your traditional Koenigsegg, nice blue and orange combination. So yes, kind of like an iron brew colour. <laughs> it's the Scottish car, the Scottish car, even though it's from Sweden, it's got a Scottish interior. Yes, representing, representing man. So the other big thing that you'll notice about this car is this wing. Now you might, you might kind of remember this from GTA with his internal. It does kind of look like that and also resembles the Venino wing. But, I kind of think it resembles this one a little bit more, so can we actually play around with this? I think we can. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, for the petrol head crisis! Okay. That is so cool, that is so cool. So I think we can actually... Holy shit, we can flick up the whole back. Let's inspect the back of it. Koenigsegg, triplet suspension. Did I say triplets? Triplex suspension! <laughs> the car's having triplets, oh my god. And that exhaust pipe, though. It looks like a pair of lungs. Jeez, man. That is insane. You get the massive exhaust pipe as well through the back. Now, I think that's right... I think that's right about it, guys. Overall, amazing looking car, but I can't wait any longer. And I'm sure you guys can't wait, can't wait any longer as well. We're going to go to Le Mans and see how fast this thing can actually go. So we're going to be starting a little bit further back from the main straight, just to give us as much speed as possible to actually get this thing up to its max limit. Here we go, three, two, one, go! Now while I was driving it from the start line to here, I noticed the grip about this thing, partially due to that spoiler, actually strike that all down to that spoiler and the brand new front splitter. It is insanely grippy through the corners. So we'll test that out when we get to Circuit of the Americas even more. But so far, I didn't even realise we were doing over 200 already. That's insane how quick this thing gets there. 240 miles an hour. 247, 248, 250. Come on. Is there another gear? Yes, there is. Seventh gear. Keep going, keep going, keep going, baby. If we can hit 265, I think the top speed was. That would be grand. Oh my god, this is terrifying. We're 260, come on. Push it. Push it, push it. Keep going, 261. Oh my god, 262. Okay, the screen's shaking about like crazy. <laughs> Holy mother of god, this is batshit insane. 
break, break, break. I'm going to need a break right now. Oh, these are good. These are good breaks. They're very good, but what I think we're going to do is turn around and go back up the other way, because I think going back the way actually gives you more time and more room to actually gain a top speed. So we shall jump in to the interior, <laughs> interior view for this. Oh my god. I mean, imagine if you were doing this sort of speed with the top down, or the top off in this case, your face would be ripped off. It would be full Jeremy Clarkson in Aerial Atom mode. Times 11, because this thing goes super, super faster. And change gets max out of 6. Come on, and boof! Change it now. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, I thought it was going to spin there. Just the, you don't even notice the bumps on this track until you're in a car like this. Seriously. 262. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, make 260. Yes! Okay. Two. <laughs> I thought we were going to hit 264 there guys, so in the game it says 265 for top speed, but I can only really manage 263. That is insane man, that is absolutely insane. So I think it's time for the, <laughs> the much feared but much anticipated handling test. So here we are on the starting line of Circuit of the Americas in the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. This is probably one of the most anticipated things I have ever done in Forza guys. So let's rev her up and get going. Oh you gotta love the noise for this. Let's see if we can do a burnout. Oh yes it can! <laughs> so this thing actually has 1341 horsepower and run about 1010 pounds feet of torque so yeah <laughs> it can definitely push you off the line pretty damn well so in terms of actually getting sideways this is the biggest fear because with the Agera don't get me wrong you can get it sideways but you do need to be awake you really do especially with the old CCX yeah if you watch Top Gear you'll definitely know what I'm on about the Stig eating some tire walls <laughs> definitely but so far, so good with this thing because, as I said in the top speed run, this wing produces so much downforce, it's absolutely unreal. And you don't really get the sense that it does want to spin, which is very, very, very rare for a Koenigsegg. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that, but you really don't. You really don't. So, it's nice to actually feel a little bit of comfort for a change driving a car like this, because the Hennessy Venom GT has run about the same power, it is a wee bit more powerful, but I think that is actually a lot less controllable than this, because this is an active wing, whereas the Hennessy Venom GT, at least in Forza, the wing doesn't go up or down, which is kind of weird, because it does it in real life, I don't know why it doesn't do it in this game, but <laughs> seriously, I'm so tempted to do like a face-off against this in the Bugatti Veyron SS. Hit that like button guys if you want to see that or just comment below. It's going to be an epic battle if that does happen. Okay, she's still getting sideways. Still getting sideways. <laughs> I mean if you just leave it in third gear, that is all it's going to do. It just spin its tyres for days bro. For absolute days. Now, this is my favourite corner on this track. So you just, if you're in a good enough car, get it sideways all the way around. Oh the bumps. Oh the bumps kind of displeased it there. Keep it going, keep it going. Yes, you can easily do it in this car, because of the power! This is such a Clarkson car and I love it for it. Just shouting POWER all day! Man, yet again, just like the Subaru in Need for Speed 2015, guys. Actually, I've not put that video up yet, so that's a teaser. Ha <laughs> um, But yeah, just like that car, I've got the biggest smile on my face right now, and that is when you know you've found a great car. When it puts a smell on your face. And it's even unlocked as a new badge. Fantastic. Line perfection. We weren't exactly going around the lines that well, but we'll see what we could do in this lap. We'll try and make it more of a rippy focus, time focused lap. Oh my god. We go around the S chicane. Off this part of the track. And if you can hold it. Okay, hit the bumps there. But I'm surprised we didn't spin that. I'm really surprised we didn't spin that. If there was any other car, I would have spun. Oh yes. Oh yes. 
It's weird. It's really weird. I just can't highlight this enough. I'm drifting around, no bother, in a Koenig's egg. It's so unnatural saying that. <laughs> I mean, you could do it quite easily in Forza Horizon 2, right? But in a motorsport game? Holy shit! It's unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. Now, the weight of this thing is run about 2,000... 300 odd pounds, I might be wrong in saying that. Actually, correction, oh god. Steering correction and mass correction. It is 2,998 pounds, not 2,300. God, I can only imagine the insanity that, <laughs> that would be if I actually only weighed 2,300. God damn, it's light enough already. Right down into, I think we'll go into second for this one. Oh Jesus, I could have braked a little bit more. That was my fault that time. Sorry, Koenigsegg. I was going to do a Swedish accent there, but I don't really know a Swedish accent. Can PewDiePie! <laughs> PewDiePie! Oh god, that'd be insane to see PewDiePie drive this. In real life, I mean. God, he should do that for his new program. Go on a Koenigsegg one-to-one. -one. That's how to scare PewDiePie. Just put him in a seat in this thing. <laughs> yes, the petrol head way of scaring the most popular YouTuber. Just put him in a Koenigsegg. And kill him. <laughs> Here we go, getting round it. Still sideways. Still sideways. <laughs> oh, this very possibly might be my new favourite car in this game, guys. Oh, yes, the power. It's just so immediate, the throttle control. Oh, Jesus. For these people that keep saying, like, you're reviewing a car in a game, you're talking about throttle control and everything. It's a game then just use your imagination. Use your imagination. Seriously, I'm sick of people saying that. Well, you don't even have a wheel, but you're talking about steering response and shit. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but you can still feel steering response through a controller, can't you? So, no hate, please. No hate. Don't be a D-bag. <laughs> I'm only trying to give my honest opinion here, but... Yeah, for the last lap, we're going to go back on the outside view. God, it's bright. <laughs> it's very bright when you jump back out of this. So my overall first opinions, my overall, like, thoughts on this car from driving it, it is batshit crazy, quite controllable for a hypercar, and it's just badass. <laughs> it's the Swedish badass. Now, in comparison to the one from Drive Club, oh, I don't really know, I don't really know, it just feels completely different, obviously, because Forza handles a lot different than Drive Club. But, in this, <laughs> I'm in love. I am in love, so, yes. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It just wheel spins all the way through third. What's the top speed we can get on this straight? I didn't actually check that the first two times. Yeah, 200, that'll be good. Oh my god. <laughs> right over 200. 207 or something there. Gotta keep going. The car that I'm going to be reviewing in the pack, guys, is going to be the Mercedes C63 AMG S. The next video will be the Massive, massive build on that thing. We're going to be unleashing the devil soon. As if we haven't already unleashed the devil, the Swedish devil. Well, there's actually a ghost on this car. That is the Koenigsegg icon. That slide in action. Yes. So, so damn good. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this quick review of the Cooling Egg 1 to 1, let me know by leaving a like and also commenting down below what you like about the car. Do you like its looks? Do you like the sheer acceleration of it? Just the madness of it? And yeah, if you follow me on Vine, Facebook, and Twitter, links are in the description below. I'll be putting another video, as I said, of this car pack up tomorrow, guys. I'll Thanks for watching, me and the crazy, crazy coins egg. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.